This looks so good. I follow. As you can see, I eat a lot of plant foods. This is a delicious bowl, burrito bowl. I started off with some greens, got some corn, black beans, quinoa, some sweet potatoes, some salsa, avocado, and then I ended up with some, some sauce. You gotta sauce it up. I used some salsa and some tahini. A big tip for you guys. Did you notice how I had my beans, my corn, my potatoes, my quinoa, my greens, everything was already cooked and prepared and set up for me. So I would have a meal that I could make. I could have made this into a wrap or a taco or some nachos. I eat a lot of these bowls because they're so easy to just throw a bunch of vegetables in, but when it comes to your salads, you wanna have something else in there like starch like notice i had potatoes beans quinoa that's something that's going to have some starch complex carbs going to keep you fuller longer and it's also got a lot more fiber and nutrients for your body that's really what your body needs no i don't eat the same things every day but i generally eat the same type of foods every day i don't put number limits on my food i eat when i'm hungry and i stop when i'm full if I have a craving, I honor it. But I really ask myself, what am I craving? What am I truly craving right now? And it's typically just feeling good. So I redirect my mindset. I focus again on my goals. I'll ask myself, what can I do right now to make me feel good? Maybe I'll go meditate, read a book, take a shower, listen to music, 
check in with my clients, something I know that's gonna make me feel good. But also, like at nighttime is typically when, you know, I'll want something more and that's just because the day is over and I have time to sit and think and be with myself. One thing, if you are used to having something sweet at night or you always need something, try drinking herbal tea. But ultimately, you must remember that food is fuel. It really is nothing more. We need food nourishment to let our bodies healthy function. They're not gonna function optimally if you're not giving them the nutrition they were designed to run on. Just like all species eat a particular food, so do we. The foods you see in the stores nowadays, I mean, except the produce aisle and maybe like, you know, a couple meat here and there, what is that food? It is fake food. Your body is not designed to have that food. Like, people wonder why they're fat and sick. Look at the food you're eating. Look at how you talk to yourself. Look at how you live. Are you living by design? The food is the main problem, but honestly, the mindset, really your programming, your habits, what have gotten you to where you are now. Your mindset is everything. Your mind runs your life. Your brain runs your life, your habits, all of that. And so if you wanna make changes, you gotta start with the mind. And that's why with my work with my clients, we start with the mindset. It's very complex and working with somebody who takes a holistic approach, addresses the mindset, addresses the physical, addresses the spiritual aspect of you. You know, you are a multi-dimensional being and all parts of you need to be addressed and balanced for you to achieve a healthy weight loss. I've lost 30 pounds as a result of balancing each of these dimensions of myself. And that's why the work I do with my clients is a total body transformation. You can't just get away with, oh, here's a meal plan. Oh, here's some nutritional guidelines. No, it's gonna take some effort to get you to change, changing your habits, changing your subconscious habits, what change really comes down to. So I used to diet all the time until I changed my identity. I was identifying as somebody who was a dieter. And until I changed that identity through my holistic practices and mindset work to somebody who is committed to loving themselves and having a healthy lifestyle and doing all the things that make up a healthy lifestyle every single day. You're not on a diet. You're just doing everything out of self-love. When you know better, you do better. When you love yourself, you want better for yourself. You want to feel better. You want to eat foods that make you feel good and not bloated and sick and ill. It's all connected and it's all impacted and related to one another. So yes, I follow primarily whole foods, mainly plant-based nutrition, along with mindful eating practices like meditation, visualization, mindset work. Simplest thing I can tell you, if you're looking to lose weight, get healthier, is to go back to nature. Eat as you were designed to eat. When you buy something, turn it around, look at the label and look at the ingredients. Read what that food is. If it's an ingredient you don't recognize, your body doesn't recognize it either. Shop in the produce aisle. Shop for foods that don't have labels and then just eat them. You don't have to make this glorious recipe meal. Just eat food. You can get in the garden, and eat when you're hungry. Quit eating because you're bored. Quit eating because you're stressed out. When your body tells you, hey, I'm hungry, darling. I need some nourishment. Go back to nature. That is what has helped me the most, but I do lay it all out for you. The nutrition guidelines, the mindset guideline, the full holistic approach to healthy weight loss. In my total body transformation program, I'm gonna give you the step-by-step -step to get you from where you're at to where you wanna go weight loss goal, improve health, improve your confidence, change your mindset, and live much happier with yourself. So if you want more information on that program or how to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, just click the link below and you can always book a free consultation with me. So I just had a client coaching session right now. She's in my total body transformation program. So we meet each week to monitor her progress, make changes to her plans, help her overcome any obstacles that she's working through and just help her get from point A to point B. The girls who do get one-on-one -on -one coaching really have the best transformations.
a day in my life. I'm getting ready to do some skincare, probably do some reading and get off my phone, do some meditation before bed and call it a day. It was a beautiful day. Thank you for being here. Make sure you are following me on Instagram. I am on there every single day, but if you like this video and you like these little vlogs, please let me know. That will tell me I should make more of them. I do want to point out that I just had supper and I've got no bloat. I had that big old bowl of food, I had that nectarine, and I feel so good. This is why I eat the way I do. I do all of these things the way I do because ultimately it comes down to feeling good. Feeling good. So, go do something that makes you feel good. I hope I will see you next.